Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 20 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So what we are going to do now is work with raster and vector effects. So inside of Photoshop, we just had raster effects, but in uh, Illustrator, we have a set of Illustrator effects and we got a set of Photoshop effects, which is vector effects. So in order to apply that, let me just uh, draw a shape just like this and let us start with the 3D effect. The 3D effect is extrude and bevel. So if I were to enable preview, then it actually uh, changes it into a regular preview. So if I were to rotate this, you can see that it actually changes the shape into a 3D like layer and I can have an effect like this. And if I were to expand this, uh, just like in previous lesson, then it actually what it does is it creates a regular shape out of it. So I can go to effect and go to 3D and go to revolve, you know, use a preview um over here so it is actually rendering the artwork because this is a heavy file and we just stop that and create a simple shape out of it so let me just uh use a tool like uh pen tool over here let me create a very very simple shape just like this press enter uh and then i'm going to use a stroke on this so just go to stroke over here just use a stroke on this and i'm going to disable the fill so let me use the rotation on this now so i'm going to go to uh effects and 3d and then revolve uh what it actually does it is it revolves um, uh, this overall shape to create a unique shape so it kind of looks like a wine glass when i do that so you can also revolve it into different ways so you can turn it around just like that all right so that is how uh, you can apply vector effects just like that so there's also uh, rotate so you can simply rotate the overall shape over here let me just go to preview as if you are rotating it in a 3D space. So this is not an actual 3D, but it only simulates the 3D effect. So you can convert the shape into rectangular shape and so forth. So you can convert the shape just like that. So there's some vector grid effects right there. So these are some of the effects that you can try out. We can warp it into an arc, uh, just do preview and you can see that it, you can actually do a pretty neat effect. And the thing with the uh, illustrator effects that is the vector effects is that no matter how much you zoom in uh, the effects remain the same that's why it's called the vector effect so but when I use the raster effect that is the Photoshop effect these are the exact uh, effects that came out of Photoshop itself uh, what happens is that it applies pixels to this for example uh, let me use uh, artistic and let me use um, let's say plastic wrap for example so this actually brings up the Photoshop effect uh, just like that. And once I were to zoom in, you can see that the pixelation effect is there and the graphic uh, and the effect does not act as vector as the shape is. So that's why it's known as um, a raster effect. So you can go to texture and whatever um, uh, thing you apply over here, like a radial blur or a Gaussian blur, what it does is it actually uh, applies a raster effect to it. So if I were to really zoom in, you can see the pixel, uh, the pixelation, unlike uh, the regular um, vector effects. So this is actually, that's why it is called Photoshop effects or raster effects. And this is the illustrator effects that is vector effects. So if I want to preserve my quality, then I'd really stick on to the illustrator effects again. Uh, again, this uh, results in a very, very quick uh, type of design right inside of Illustrator without you having to go inside of Photoshop. So I uh, hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.